Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, you can probably tell what we're going to be doing today, because it's pretty obvious. We're going to be ranking all of the weathers. Not weather Lumians, the weathers, and how, like, good they are, and how fun they are, in my opinion. Now, I will say that a lot of this is... Close to my opinion i have used all the weathers at this point some better than others i have but i do think that my takes on them are not objective please do not say that my takes on these are objective because they are not all of these are based purely around my opinion on the weathers so without further ado i'll have some battles playing in the background and let's get right into it. All right, and heading straight into it, we are going to be starting off this list with arguably the worst weather, right? Arguably the worst one. We're going to be talking about wind. Now, it's nothing really against wind, and this is not going to be taking into consideration the buffs that are coming to them if it was buffed i would definitely put wind up but i'm talking about them in the current like thing without pvp 2.0 and all wind does is gives air type lumens a 10 percent speed buff and then trapping effects are nullified so basically if i was to have nightmare i couldn't get parasitized you know or not parasitized i couldn't get pestilence which is cool so eh but on top of that i would get a speed buff to 110 speed or mm, i don't think that's how it works i think it's a it's, it's to the uh raw stat not the base stat so it would just be a little bit of a speed buff you'd be 10 percent faster which sucks <laughs> it's it's not good so don't try to say it's good wind is arguably the worst weather currently in the game after the buffs with 2.0 it'll probably be much better than it is now but in the current state of the game it, it, it ain't it like it, it that is not it in the slightest but i will say that when i used it it was not the weather i hated the most surprisingly there were other weathers that i didn't like but this one was definitely one that i have high hopes for because it does have more fezu and nymeray in it which are incredibly scary threats and the fact that it's being buffed to be 25% speed and then 25% poison moves is going to be very, very scary. And it's going to be very cool to see how wind is going to be used later on whenever it gets buffed. But yeah, that'll end off the worst weather, in my opinion. Now we're going to the second one, which I'm going to be talking about is going to be Heat Wave. Now, I don't exactly like Heat Wave. Sun is definitely one of my least favorite things and methods. To play in game mostly because like i don't know you just boost your fire type moves and like look i feel like um rain will always be better than sun because look if you have if it's deladrix versus billaforge right who do you really think's gonna win that right i i don't i don't really know but if it's up against rain and heat i'm gonna be using rain because, for one, Rain has a type advantage up against it, so it's a little bit of a weaker weather. And, honestly, I just don't really... Because I feel like Fire is more of a defensive type. So, having all of... I don't know. Just... I don't like Heat Wave. <laughs> Plus, the only real Heat Wave abuser right now is Chartiki that can really abuse it. There's nothing much right now. Like, if later, whenever we get more weather abilities, maybe I bu bump it up a little bit. But I definitely don't want to use Heat Wave. And I do think that once it does get buffed, bug types will be able to pop off with it. So that'll be very cool to see. And yeah, I don't really know what else to say about Heat Wave. Because I just... It's, it's definitely not for me. But it might be for someone else. Like, who knows? I mean, the benefits to Heat Wave are... I guess you have a soul burst form with it and there's two setters to it so it's a little bit more um little bit easier to build around because you can have two different setters instead of just one so i guess in a way but i don't know it's just it's just not it and plus it makes ice types take damage in heat 
So I feel like you're just not going to bring an ice type against a heat wave team, you know? But yeah, that's where I put it at number four. And then getting into the next one, we are going to be talking about Thunderstorm. Who could have guessed that the top two are going to be fog or rain? But I want to talk about Thunderstorm a little bit because I thought that I'd honestly really enjoy it, right? Like electric type moves get an accuracy buff. I think it's electric types get an accuracy buff and or is it moves? I forget which one it is. And you can't fall asleep. Plus, you get a damage buff as well. So, it's pretty good, right? It has good effects. Problem is, nothing can really abuse it right now. The best thing to abuse it right now would be Solver Stacketa, right? Being able to blow stuff up. And, hey, it's a really good way of using it. There's also Solver's Joltooth who can take advantage of it. But, something about it just doesn't seem good. Because the setter itself, it is pretty solid. I, I honestly think it's, a very, it's pretty solid. So, when you take that... And then, I don't know. It's a fast pivot. And the problem with fast pivots is that they want to have threatening presence on the field. You could send in anything and it, it's fine. And plus on top of it, electric um, moves have immunities. Joltooth doesn't really care about them as if it's soul bursted. But the fact that this weather has immunities to it makes it really tough to actually use this and get the damage buff. Because electric being immune immune to earth and then having three things that resist it being ancient plant and electric does make it a bit of a tougher weather to use and just i wouldn't try i wouldn't use it again if it, if it was up to me and i could use any weather i would not use thunderstorm because it's just definitely not my style but yeah and I would like to, because, okay, when I announce number two, everyone's going to know what number one is, but this is going to be a bit of a weird take. I'm going to put fog at number two. Now, when I did my fog, when I did my fog video, I thought I'd have much more fun and that it wouldn't be hard to win, right? And I didn't really care, but I wasn't having fun with fog and fog more so plays into the stall based um style of fighting which is not fun for me at all and it is a good weather the fact that you can delete abilities is a very good benefit problem is you don't get a damage buff it just gets rid of abilities so it only has defensive play style realistically if you're thinking about it so you could get rid of wobblisk's ignorant and then you could set up and win the game right you could get rid of falconry's awakening so your fire type could live a plus two nova blast you know there's a lot of things that you can do with fog but another thing to remember is that your lumians are also losing their ability right whereas if it was something like heat wave <clears throat> you have a defensive benefit and an offensive benefit water type moves are weaker fire type moves are stronger but in fog you just get rid of abilities and i don't know and then spirit type Lumion's two turn moves become one turn. So, hey, cool, I guess. But I do think that after the buff, it'll be a little bit more fun to try out because then it has a uh, benefit with its with other types, you know? But in my opinion, I don't really think Fog is that fun. And I honestly think that it is overrated. It, it is definitely overrated. And... I, I don't know. I was really surprised when I used it. I thought that it would be fun and interesting. It really wasn't. It doesn't have any other ben It doesn't have any other type matchups, right? Like no other type works with it besides spirit types. So at that point, you're forced to run like a mono spirit team, and then someone brings any light type or an another spirit type, right? At that point, Charonix is already really really good. So you can. It, I don't know. I don't really want to talk about it. Because I just think Fog was just weird and I I probably would never use it again. I'm going to use it when it gets its buff, of course. But I don't think I would... If I'm ever playing casually, I don't think that I'm going to be using Fog. But yeah, that concludes the top four. And now we are going to be talking about the number one, in my opinion, which is rain i think it's pretty obvious i honestly really love rain 
It's my favorite playstyle in Dude World. It's my favorite playstyle in Lumion right now. Like, I absolutely adore it. Because this setter is honestly really fun to use. I like the I like Deladrix as a setter. It was definitely my favorite weather Lumion out of all of them. Maybe tied with Billiford. Billiford is also really cool. But Deladrix being able to uh, get a very get a strong fast pivot, right? Earth types can't switch in because you set up the water, so it has that for it. Plus, fire type moves are weaker and you have two swift swim abusers currently in the game to take advantage of the said weather and then on top of it it has a better a more defensive playstyle to it being plant types get healed so if you're worried you can have a plant type on a rain team and not be worried about it because it's a rain team no one's going to be bringing a fire type to really do anything to your plant type so you can take a big advantage of that like a tatab could pop off with it because it, since it's a rain team they're not going to want to bring their fire type right Plus, you have a Soul Burst that actually takes advantage of the rain on top of it. And you have Leviatross, which can use Expert Onslaught. I feel like that right now, rain is the best playstyle. Because the funny thing is, Soul Burst Skellic doesn't actually need its ability to pop off, right? Let's say that they send in Charonix after you set up rain on your Soul Burst Skellic. You can just click Drudge or you could Primal Slash, you know, you could Wave Wrecker. It doesn't matter if you have the rain up or not with some of these rain abusers. One of the, with the Arapaigo being one of the other rain abusers definitely needs um, the rain to be up, to abuse it. So it would struggle a little bit into other setters. But that doesn't, that doesn't say that it would be useless because Arapaigo still has a great speed stat, good bulk, and can still abuse it, you know? It can abuse the fact that it forces rain setters in and actually threatens every single rain or weather setter, right? You have Tsunami to hit Billiforge and Charonix. You have Frostbeam to hit um, Plasmoth and Whippledrift. So it's just, I don't see why rain isn't the best weather right now. I don't think you can convince me otherwise because yes, fog has the best benefits. Yes. But it doesn't pair with any other typing other than spirit. Later it will become light. But again, I'm not ranking them based on the buffs that they're going to get later. And uh, rain has three different types that it affects, right? Three different types. Same thing with heat wave, but heat wave just doesn't have the best setter. Plus I feel like uh, fire is easier to switch into than water. Because a lot of the times water types are going to have ice moves. So that immediately gets rid of the of the fire type, not fire type, plant type switch in that water could potentially have. And on top of that, you have plant types which can switch in on fire moves if the rain, or not plant types. You have plant types that can switch in to stop other water types. And then on top of that, you have water immunities such as Dokamori and Parasol to take advantage of other people trying to use your weather against you. There's just so many benefits to rain right now that I, I just don't see why it's not the best weather currently in the game. There's too many benefits to it, and I, I can't really think of a negative, right? And one negative would be an electric type. Like, Solver's Joltooth is probably the biggest threat to them because they can hit your Dokamori, and then it's a little bit scary. But you could always, like... If you're worried about Silver's Jolt Tooth, you can bring a Boonery, right? Bring a Boonery on a rain team and then boom. You don't have to freaking care, right? But I do think that that will end my list. And I guess I'll have some text on the screen right now. People wanted to see it. Let me get like a timestamp here. 1350. So... Yeah, let me know what you guys have ranked the weathers down below in the description. This did feel like a little bit of a weird list because the bottom two were obvious for me from the start, right? The top three were a little bit... I mean, no, I think the bottom three were easy. The top two were a little tougher. But I do think that I'm completely fine with my decision that I think rain is the best weather right now. It's not by far. It's, it's just a little bit. But yeah. Hopefully that you all enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe down below. It is very helpful. And I think with all of that being said, I'll see everyone in the next one. Bye bye